short nails need love too. And that's what I'll be doing today, polishing my shorties. I already applied these two products to my nails as base coats. I'm opening my nail polish remover and getting that ready because I know I'm gonna need it. I do always mess up. I'm not perfect. I'm not a nail tech. I just love doing my nails. So, you know, we mess up sometimes. So anyways, it was requested for me to slow it down while polishing, so that's why I'm doing this video. So some of the clips will be fast and some won't, but it will not be in time lapse like my last um, Watch Me Polish video. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Um, the color that I'm using is an indie brand polish by Hitchhiker Nails. It's a beautiful deep dark purple that I thought would be perfect for Halloween. It has hints of holographic glitter throughout it. I'm gonna do two coats of this, so I'm starting with the first coat. cleanup brush is by olive and june and this is the brush that i got at target um when they had their olive and june display i have a target um, polish aisle video kind of a ways down if you guys want to go check that video out to see the olive and june display they have some really cute stuff on there and pretty color polishes I just noticed I still had a piece of gel polish left on my other thumb from my last set of nails. <laughs> I've had this polish for a while. I actually forgot I had it. I went into like an old stash. I wanted to use something I hadn't used in a long time and I probably haven't used this in about three years or something probably i don't even remember using it <laughs> but i'm glad i came across it and picked it um it's a great color hitchhiker nails i'm not sure if they're still around but i found them first on instagram and they have some of the best holographic glitter actually all the colors that i got from hitchhiker nails they sent me free for pr and they also sent me some stamping colors that i'm gonna have to break out and use Let me know this in the comments. How are your polishing skills? Would you call yourself very good at polishing, good, somewhat good, terrible, just good enough, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, how good are you at polishing your own nails? The, the, those of you that are not nail techs out there that are just, you know, um, DIY nails at home lovers who just polish their own nails, cause you know, I, I'm not great, I would say I'm somewhat okay, which is crazy because I've been doing nails for like so many years now. I got into collecting polish like, gosh, maybe six years ago. I've been polishing my nails ever since and um, I don't know what happened because <laughs> I used to be really good at it all and then I kind of fell off. But yeah, I never really was that great at polishing my own, my, especially the short nails. And when I have like acrylics and glow on nails, I can do that. I can, you know, polish pretty good at that. I still mess up. I still will get it on my fingers and stuff like that. But I do better when the nails are longer than I do when they're short like this. And I think I do better... Um, when I'm polishing someone else's nails as well. So here I'm using the Nail 8 Keratin as my top coat. You're supposed to put on two coats. So I put one on as a base coat, I polish, and then I put another coat on because you can put it over the top of your polish. So I'm all done. They look so pretty and shiny and glossy. So I decided I'm gonna put on my Kiss um, Nail Art stickers, another simple <laughs> um, nail design. Um, you guys probably seen me pick these up in one of my polish aisle videos. I have not did the haul yet from all the things that I picked up. So you guys are seeing this here, but you will see it again when I do the haul. I have to get to that video. I keep forgetting to show you guys all the stuff I picked up um, for my polish aisle videos. I just went with something simple, just the black um, like Dracula teeth lips or whatever it is. Look at this sparkle, so pretty. 
I know y'all probably want to see me do something other than stickers. I'm going to get to it. It was really late this night. I decided to do my nails. It was like 1 in the morning. Um, and that's why I'm doing the voiceover because I didn't want to talk during the video, wake anyone. So, yeah, lately I've been just picking something simple and quick to just hurry up and get them done. Because the times I choose to do my nails... I usually don't have a lot of time to work on them, but I am going to start trying some other designs. I have so much stuff to play with that I haven't used yet, so just keep an eye out. It's coming. <laughs> now I'm adding a candle abra um, sticker. I wanted to do like a bunch more, but I wanted to save the most of the stickers for when I do long nails for this month. So that's why I didn't put a whole bunch on like every finger. I'm saving them for when I do like my press-ons or acrylic. Yeah, just super simple and quick, honey. I just had to hurry up and get them done. <laughs> The stickers glow in the dark, so I decided to do a glow in the dark top coat. Um, I can see it better when I was recording now that you know I'm here editing. Y'all can barely see it, but I saw it really good. So when I edited this and noticed that you could barely see it, I was like pretty upset about it. But yeah, the, the glow top coat I use works really, really good. The stickers glow great, you can see that. The one thing that I was upset about is once I applied that glow in the dark top coat, it turned my nails like matte and kind of dull looking. Um, it wasn't too bad. They still looked it nice, but I just liked it the way that it had that shine. But I do love the glow from the top coat. I'll show you guys that in my haul. Um, and yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe.